It was a clear and gorgeous serene morning with the majestically sentinel painted lady landmark watching over us next to the clear azurious inviting waters. Mountain House Dehydrated Foods scored another win with its incredibly tasty breakfast skillet with hash browns. Compared to the last three days, everything from this point forward seemed to be less challenging. However, I didn't anticipate falling into the water in one of the crossings and having to swim 20 meters to find my floating carbon fiber trekking pole. This is where I discovered that my Astika super durable but super heavy water sandals were more comfortable as a hiking shoe than my Solomon Trail Runners. I see why permits are more popular for the clockwise route. You don't have to go over Glen Pass to get to Ray Lakes and can simply do an out and back without the high elevation concerns, the fire restrictions or varying weather conditions as the climate zone change. The next highly anticipated highlight was the Woods Creek Suspension Bridge. This bridge can be intimidating as it looks a bit wobbly. However, if you hold on to the sides, it's pretty stable. I intentionally avoided holding on to the sides to see how it would react, and well, it swayed massively. clear trail for most of the hike. There's some parts going across boulders and stuff that lose a little bit. They try to do their best to put rocks along the way to line it. You'll see cut throughs on boulders or through logs. We traveled another three miles and found an open area with the fire ring. This site is unmarked with no bear boxes. After the 10 mile trek, we decided to call it a night and stay here. 